Right now, nearly 1,500 people statewide are waking up without power this morning after yesterday's storms. Let's go to News 9's Jordan Daphnis. She leads our live team coverage. She's in Yukon, where high winds nearly blew over some power poles. Jordan, good morning. Good morning, man, you guys. It is definitely cold out here, so if you are going to have to be outside this morning, definitely grab a jacket because it's a little windy. It's a little cold. What we're seeing over here, we're right along Piedmont, right near the Piedmont, Piedmont Wagner Road intersection or Wagner Boulevard, I should say, intersection. We're seeing we've got three power poles here that are blown over. Luckily, they're blown away from the direction of the road. That's good news because traffic is starting to pick back up here as people are starting to head into work. They're not going to be impacted, but they're definitely going to notice it. I did see USIC out here taking a look at the damage, so they're going to probably start work later this morning. So that may impact you later if crews are out here working to put these poles back into place. We're also seeing some flooding here. The field over to my right is completely flooded. Kind of looks like a body of water sitting there right now. So that is what we're noticing out here in Yukon. We'll keep you updated as we learn more this morning. As the sun comes up, we're able to get a better look at damage. For now, I'm Jordan Daphnis, live in Yukon for Oklahoma Zone News 9.